Hey there, we're going to be reading the story, An Egg is Quiet. And before I start reading, I want you to, on your paper, draw three eggs. I know these aren't the best drawings, but um, just try your best. So I want you to draw three eggs like this on your paper. And as I'm reading today, this book is going to have information about different eggs. And so in each of your eggs, I want you to write one fact that you learn about eggs in this book. Okay, so if you need to pause this for a second so that you can draw your eggs, you can go ahead and do that and start it back up. So as I read, start thinking of one fact to write inside each of the eggs. All right, so here we go. An Egg is Quiet by Diana Aston. And there's all different kinds of eggs. This one's a hummingbird. I'll just show you a few. This one's a hummingbird. Here's an emperor penguin. This one is called a hepatic tanager. I've never heard of that animal. And this is a bushy crested jay, a gray catbird. This one right here is a turkey egg. That's what the turkey egg looks like. And look at the cricket egg. That one's really tiny, isn't it? So there's a ton of different kinds of eggs. An egg is quiet. An egg is quiet. It sits there under its mother's feathers, on top of its father's feet, buried beneath the sand, warm, cozy. So eggs can be in different places. Sometimes they're in a bird's nest. Sometimes they stay on top of a penguin's feet to stay warm. And sometimes they get buried like a sea turtle. They bury their eggs inside the sand until they hatch. An egg is colorful. Do you see all these different colors? I'll show you a few. So this one right here is a king salmon egg. That one's red. And this one is called a California thrasher. Here's a robin's egg. I know we see a lot of robin birds flying around. Um, this is a great blue heron egg. There is, let's see, this one's called a snow bunting. This is a chipping sparrow. So there's all different kinds of eggs. An egg is shapely. There are round eggs. There are oval eggs. There are pointy eggs. And there are even tubular eggs. They're a tube shape. And so this one over here is a sea turtle egg and it says, sea turtles dig a hole in the sand with their flippers and lay up to 200 soft round eggs. Round eggs fit together nicely in tight spaces. So a sea turtle can have up to 200 eggs at a time and they're soft and they're circle shaped. These are a ladybird beetle, and it says when ladybugs hatch as larvae, their first meal is often the egg case they crawled out of. So that's kind of interesting. So when they hatch out of their egg, the first thing they do is usually eat the shell of the egg that they were in. And this is called the common myrrh. Seabird eggs are pointy at one end. So if they're laid on rock ledges, they roll around in safe little circles and not off the cliff. So that's interesting. So the shape of this helps it from rolling off the edge of a mountain. These are a dogfish. That's a type of fish. And it says, while most sharks give birth to live young, some sharks, like the lesser spotted dogfish, Begin life in a leathery egg case with tendrils. Here are the tendrils. The tendrils anchor the eggs to seaweed so they won't be swept away by the ocean current. So that's interesting. So these tendrils, they're, they almost look like string, don't they? They attach to seaweed so that the eggs stay in the same spot and they don't get washed away. An egg is clever. 
The markings on some eggs help them blend in with their surroundings. Do you know what that means when an egg, when something blends in? That's called camouflage. Camouflage is an egg's way of hiding. An egg might be speckled to resemble the rocks around it, or it might be gray, the color of mud by a lake. An egg does not want to be eaten by a raccoon or a snake or a fox or an insect. So they have different camouflage so that they don't get eaten by certain animals. Eggs come in different sizes. Oh, this is a big one. This is an ostrich egg. An ostrich egg can weigh as much as eight pounds. It is so big and so round, it takes two hands to hold one egg. And then this one is called an Anna's hummingbird. And hummingbird eggs are the size of a jelly bean. Have you ever eaten a jelly bean? That's how small they are. It would take about 2,000 hummingbird eggs to equal the size of one ostrich egg. That's how tiny they are. An egg is artistic. Do you see how beautiful some of these eggs are? They almost look like artwork, don't they? This one's called the Harlequin Bug. This one is a green lace wing. Look at their eggs are kind of different. They're like hanging with little, almost looks like little string they're hanging from. This is a red winged blackbird. This is a paradise crow. That's a kind of bird. An egg is textured. There are hard eggs and soft eggs and gooey eggs. There are smooth eggs and rough eggs. So this one talks about how bird eggs are hard. That's like if you go to the grocery store and get eggs, they're hard. Those are bird eggs. Reptile eggs are often soft and rubbery. Amphibian eggs are gooey. The goo keeps them from drying out. And then most bird eggs are smooth. Like if you, like I said, the ones you get at the store, when you rub on them, they're kind of hard and they're smooth. But other eggs can be rough. The eggs of cassowaries, emus, and cormorants are rough. An egg might even be fossilized. Do you see the fossil? So sometimes you can see an egg inside of a fossil. And it says, the remains of creatures that died millions of years ago may become rock hard or fossilized. Scientists have unearthed fossilized dinosaur eggs all around the world. Some are round and some are oblong. Some are as small as one inch across and some are as large as 20 inches. Scientists believe all dinosaurs hatched from eggs. An egg is giving. An egg gives the little creature growing inside it everything it needs. The shell is its home. So if you look here, this is an egg. And so if you look at the outside, that part is the shell, the hard part on the outside, and that is the home that it lives in. The yolk, that's the yellow part inside of an egg, that is the food that the animal growing inside eats. The egg white or albumin is its pillow. So this white part, the egg white, is known as the albumin, and that part protects the egg like a pillow and keeps it, so, and keeps it um, protected so that the yolk doesn't break and so that the animal stays nice and safe inside. The shell is covered with teeny tiny holes, which allows air to enter. Did you guys know that? I never knew that until I read this book, that there's little teeny tiny holes all throughout the eggshell that lets air in so that the animal inside can breathe. And so it takes 21 days for a chicken to hatch. It takes 11 weeks for a salmon to hatch. And then it takes, let's see here, 15 days for a grasshopper. So it's about 15 days and then until the weather's right and then it'll hatch. So it could be a little bit longer than 15 days depending on the weather. So there's different animals that grow inside eggs. 
An egg is quiet. Then suddenly, an egg is noisy. Oh, now that it hatched, it's noisy now. And these are called black necked stilt nestlings. And they're going cheep, peep, peep, cheep, 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 cheep. And then here is a picture of all the different animals that have hatched from eggs. And so there's a blue crab, there's a green vegetable bug, there's a red winged blackbird, there's a leopard frog. There's a dogfish, that was the little shark we saw earlier, right? A ladybug, there's the robin, that's the bird that we see a lot of. So those all come from eggs. All right, and so now, if you haven't had a chance yet, go back to your eggs and I want you to write down one fact you learned about eggs inside each of those eggs that you drew. So I'm interested to see what information that you learned while you were listening to this story. All right, thank you for joining me today for An Egg is Quiet, and I will read with you again.